What's up 360 Nation? This is your boy Ben Claremont from Life in 360. Today I'm going to show you how to create a custom Nader, Nadia, however it's pronounced, for your 360 video, which is essentially the little circular logo which you see at the bottom whenever you're panning around and you want to add something to the bottom, that's called the, the Nader. Um, I've, in my previous tutorial, I showed you how to create one for your 360 photos. It's actually very simple to do. Um, you might want to check that out because that'll give you some hints and shortcuts which will now adapt to video. So once you've seen that, let's go ahead and add our video Nadir. Just a quick reminder that we went to nadirpatch.com and we click tripod patched, where we added our logo, we added a photo, and then it produced our stretched equirectangular 360 logo on our previous photo. There it is in all its glory. Um, it looks super stretched, but that's actually normal. It's going to end up tiny in our final video. Everything at the bottom, the very bottom and the very top ends up really small. It's really the middle that ends up the biggest later on. So we're going to go ahead and open that one up in Photoshop. So essentially what we need to do is just remove the background. It's as simple as that. Um, just removing the background however you see fit. Um, I'll just double click there, go OK, and then I'll just hit my eraser and I'm just going to hold down shift and move that across so it erases the photo just next to the logo. That was a perfect line. I'm really happy with that. It doesn't normally work out first time. And now I'll just go ahead and erase the rest there. Alright, so now we've essentially isolated the Equa Rectangular logo. It's as simple as going File Save. Save As. Um, and we want to save that as a PNG. Alright, Panel1.png, that works for me. And Save. Okay, so now we open up Premiere or whichever editing program you prefer to use. And we simply just drag that file in. There we go. And bring that to the timeline. All right, so I've brought in some footage from a recent music video project I just had. This is just Theta S footage. I'll just bring in a few seconds worth to show you how it's done. So it's as simple as just dragging our logo layer on top of our video layer. So there you can see that's now placed over our uh, footage there, which is shot on a boat for my cool little music video. Really proud of that one. Um, and there we have it. So. Now it's really as simple as exporting. Let's go File Export as you normally would. You will want to export at the exact resolution of your footage. Um, this was shot with the Theta S and it's not 1920 by 1080. Be careful here. This is 1920 by 960. It's got to be the same. Otherwise, there's going to be issues top and bottom. If it says 1080, if we tell it 1080, it's going to create black bars there and there. All right. so. Just go match source, high bit rate, and there you go, Bob's your uncle, as they say in Australia, which means all is good, all is fine and dandy. Okay, now export. All right, so let's take a look at our exported video. So there we have it. Uh, there's our boat and our footage, and then down here we have the logo. I know what you're thinking, ah, that's huge, it's way too big. Trust me, you're going to be surprised because that's going to turn out super small when we take it into our spherical viewer. So now let's take a look at really how small it is. So I'm going to use Rico Theta as my spherical viewer. You can also use Insta360 Studio. That's a good spherical viewer just to preview your footage before you upload it to YouTube. So let's just bring it in and have a look around. Yeah, it's not that big, is it? And there we have it. That turned out perfectly. Yeah, really happy with that. Logo looks good. Uh, it's not too skewed. Not warped, um, not too big. Personally, I probably wouldn't use it, obviously, for, for something like this. But you might for something more high-end. So there you go. There you have it. It's actually quite easy. Um, the workflow isn't really that strenuous. Look, I probably could have done a better job there at cutting out the logo over my bad. Um, better luck next time. So there you go, it's as simple as that. It really doesn't take a whole lot of work and it, that was a pretty cool result in the end. Um, I personally don't use 
these a lot. Um, I like having a very minimal presence of any editing um, or branding or whatever in my videos and photos, but for professional stuff, it's probably a really handy tool if you're shooting high-end video and you need to insert a logo there or cover up a tripod or cover up a person holding the camera. So there are a multitude of contexts that you would use a custom nader in. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to shoot me any messages if anything was unclear. I also have a book out, it's called Life in 360, A Beginner's Guide to Tiny Planet Photography. And you might wanna check it out if you're into photography and video um, in the Tiny Planet format. So this, is a, this was an interactive 360. I like editing mine personally into Tiny Planets, which is removing the, the interactive element and presenting the full sphere in one little context of the square Tiny Planet. Um, this book will show you how to do everything, all the amazing effects on my profile, on my Instagram profile. Um, I'll walk you through step by step. So be sure to check it out if you want to learn more. Until next time, keep living your life in 360. Follow us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I will see you later. I mean later. No, I meant later. Ha 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 